Hello everyone, um, I'm Laura, hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Valiant Hearts. Um, this is going to be my first time through the game. Um, I will probably end up doing this in a couple of sessions for myself, but um, yeah, this is Valiant Hearts. It's a game about, from what I can tell from what I've seen before this game's out, um, it's a game about a dog and the various humans that he is friends with throughout World War One, and basically it uses this dog as a way to sort of get a bit of a lens to the lives of some people in the First World War, so let's jump right in, let's find out how much this is going to make me cry. If you're wondering why it says uh, it was already a, a game I started just to check August the recording 1st. worked. 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, Franz is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. This game is absolutely beautiful. This is without a doubt the most beautiful thing I've seen done with the Ubi Art engine so far. Oh. Goodness. I don't think I've ever seen a cartoon depiction of World War One that's quite this touching in its simplicity. It's got a very defined style to it and oh um, goodness I am already Okay. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a game about the war, isn't it? Probably should have worked that out. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more, and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store oh, for him. Oh, here we go. I have control. Oh. I'm assuming that stopping moving probably wouldn't be a smart move right now. Oh, already lost my clothes. Oh. Oh, wow, they're not wasting any time here. And what be you? And what be you? And what be you? Hooray, I'm a soldier. The joys of war. Oh. There is more gameplay going on here than I was expecting. I guess I'm beating up another K okay, soldier. Gonna pick up. It's not the most elegant of control schemes, but it's it does the job. Bravo, bravo. 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 we climb. I feel like I'm considerably slower than the younger soldiers ahead of me. I say younger, not younger by much, but... Oh. Ooh. I won't dig into these now, but 
I quite like the idea of something like this as an actual educational tool for children to learn about the war as this is if you've got actual oh. sort of working this out as I go yeah you've got all the information out of war there oh I get to raise the flag what a great honour a public crossé. The 150th Infantry Regiment. My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbours for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. This feels... he sounds very at British the train for someone French. Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Oh. <laughs> I can't get past him. Um, there could be something I can do. Hey. Oh, I see. Do I have to keep that held down? Oh no, I've got, I've got the bottle. It's just kind of on my side. So can I throw it? No. I do something else with it. Can I throw it up at the... I think I must have been onto the right sort of tactic there, but... Oh. I have an inventory. Station Master's Whistle. I needed though, is it? That's what I need to do. Let's do. Do I need to hit the conductor with it? doing a very good job of saving my new friend, am I? <laughs> you can tell I'm going to be playing this game a while, can't you? He wants white wine. Oh, well now I have the white wine. Oh, it's already telling me about a hint menu option. That's uh. <laughs> that's already a sign that I'm not doing well. But here we go. I'm not allowed to climb the ladder. But he wants music. Thank 
August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Well, I like that as the old soldier I'm being given these sort of ceremonial jobs like raising the flag and here sort of carrying the flag. They do seem to be noticeably greyer than everyone around me. We're charging at very powerful guns here. And I'm armed with nothing but a, but a flag. It's going to say it's all. Oh. Oh. Well. Here's me looking at this as if it's a some kind of non-combat experience that wasn't going to kill me. No? I do actually need to pay attention to what I'm doing while I run. I was expecting this to be sort of... Oh, God. It's the in indie game story where nothing you do has any real impact, but oh goodness. Um, oh God, they're everywhere these shells, oh goodness. This is horrible. Um, I've got shivers, this is probably the most I've actually felt in danger in a war zone before we came in a long time. It's just... Oh. Oh. Goodness, the, the art style and the simplicity of it all, it's, um, and particularly the, the side on angle, it's very easy to see everything that's going on around you and to get more of a contextual idea of how dangerous this whole Mr. battlefield is. Um, Miss Marie Chayon. Private Emile Chayon from the 150th Infantry Regiment was wounded by enemy fire oh. on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. 